my God, do you know that there's 462 things you need to know, learn, and master as an entrepreneur? <laughs> I laugh at that. Um, and I put putting this video out there as the number one video I want you to watch because it's true. But I also want you to think, oh, she must be joking. Why would she put out such a horribly comprehensive video <laughs> as to try to teach us 462 things we need to know to run a business successfully? Well, I could put out the video that says, oh, three simple ways to jumpstart your business and make more money doing what you love. I could do that. And I thought about doing that. But what's the truth? The truth is, the reality is that there's 462 things you need to do <laughs> as a business owner. <clears throat> My job, though, as a business coach, mentor, author, speaker, is to make that easier for you. It is actually to chunk it down into your first, second, third steps to in order of importance based on your goals. So the real key with jumpstarting your business, whether you're a brand new business owner or you've been in business for a while, but you're kind of stagnant with your revenues or maybe with your passion and you want to rejuvenate your passion and double or triple your revenues. Uh, maybe you want to stop working so hard because you've been kind of doing stuff manually a lot and you know you need some technology or people to help you uh, scale and really be more automated or um, more systematized in your business. And I tell you, you can shave off eight hours a week of your time if you get the right systems and structure in place in your business. A lot of times people will start their business, get some good momentum, start making money and getting clients, and then they'll forget to go put those foundational things in the business. So three, four, five years later, <clears throat> you're making a ton of money. But you're in chaos, you're working too hard, you're working too many long hours, and you have to stop. You have to stop at some point to put these things into place, whether it's in the beginning, which is the best time to do it, but, uh, or it's, you know, when you realize you're kind of on this hamster wheel and you can't jump off because you'll break your neck, right? If you jump off or something like that. Um, so I'm the kind of person that looks at the big picture of everything you're doing from the big picture down to the little nitty gritty of what you're saying in an email and posting on social media, what you're doing in your signature talk, what you're creating in your courses or what's, what's for sale on your website. Um, I'm the one that looks at all of that and how and why do I do that? Because I think it's necessary. I think a business coach that doesn't tell you and look at a lot of different things in your business and how it all flows together is doing you a disservice, I think. Now there's coaches that focus on teaching you one thing or two things or mastering this or mastering that, and that is great. But there is so much more to learn, even if you want to be an online marketer. Say you want to be an online marketer. A lot of people don't want to work one-on-one -on -one and they don't want to have coaching programs and live things or events or anything like that. <clears throat> or they don't want to do anything in person. Great. But there's still like seven or eight ways you could do that. It's not like a, this is the only way to make money, which some people teach. And I'm not a fan of that way. I like to show you the buffet of opportunities based on what your goals are, what the kind of lifestyle you want to live, show you the buffet of opportunities. And then let's strategize. Like this one's a little bit harder to sell. This one's easier to sell, but doesn't make as much money. This one, you have to work a little bit harder, but this one you don't, and you could still make good money. What if we did this and this, right? And so that's where I come in to where I, I'm more of a big picture, <clears throat> all-inclusive business coach. And people need that, especially if you're coming from corporate, it's completely different to run your own business. Or if you, like I said, if you're in your own business and you've maybe only made 10 to 50,000 a year ever, right? Well, let's crank it up a notch. Let's figure out what, where the holes are, what's not working, what is working, where you need to tweak a few things, either in what you're selling or tweaking your confidence so you could charge more or adding some different business models or levels of pricing for, for different people to take advantage of. Um, if you don't have a high-end program, you're never going to sell a high-end program, for example, right? And when is it time to add a book? When is it time to add, your, add a book into the mix of what you're doing? When is it time to have your own events? When is it time to host your own podcast or summit or TV show on Roku? Like, 
there's so many things that you could potentially do if you're listening to those coaches and mentors out there that say, oh, this is the, the best thing since sliced bread. You need to do this before you're making a good consistent amount of money. I'm afraid that what I've seen in the last 20 years in business, uh, working with thousands and thousands of business owners is they don't often see the the consistent revenue generating business model when you don't stop and put those foundational pieces in place, the right technology, not just the, the fancy new technology that's coming out there, but the one that is perfect for you and what you're selling in your budget. I want you to build the business the most affordable way possible. So we get you the right technology. We get you the right marketing strategies. It may be a lot of social media. It may not be a lot of social media. <clears throat> it may be videos and speaking. It may not be videos and speaking. It really does depend on your personality, your target audience, what you're selling, what your sales process is going to be. Um, you know, so most people you have to, if you're going to sell something for over $500, you have to have a physical phone call with them or a video call or something in order to have that sales conversation, because most people will not click and buy something $500 or more if they don't know you or know who you are, or been referred to, or if you're not some big guru that's well known, right? So how do you get more people on those phone calls? So that's something that we have to work on. That's like the number one goal of most of my clients is to book more of those phone calls and not make it so where it sounds salesy to the prospective client, right? Because they won't sign up if they think you're just going to sell them. So we have to do it authentically. We have to make it, uh, make them want to want to know more about what you got and make them want what you have to offer. We have to position you the right way so you look like the expert and the influencer and the, the expert that you are. And that means the right graphics and imaging and, and uh, photos and things on your website, on social media, in your Zoom room, right? You have to position yourself well. There's a lot of different things. Now, if you're listening to me and you're like, oh, this is overwhelming, well, pull up your big girl panties or big boy panties. And you either just have to get a coach because who else is going to teach you this? It's not just going to drop into your head all this information. Oh, I want to be an entrepreneur now. So boom, come on universe. Just tell me everything I need to know. It's not going to happen, right? I've invested almost $300,000 in the last 16 years in my business development, my self-development, even relationship development to get, we, get me where I am today, which is multiple six figures every year consistently since 2008. OK, so I know what I'm talking about. I've worked with a gazillion different types of businesses. I don't focus on one type of market because I like a variety. <clears throat> Some people will only work with coaches. Some people will only work with helping people start up membership programs. I like a variety of that. And I know a lot about a lot because I've taken a lot of courses and I've worked with a lot of mentors and been in masterminds. So I know how to teach you almost any business model out there. OK, and so that's that's what I do in a nutshell. This is the reality of being in business as an entrepreneur. If any of this is scary to you or all of it's scary to you, then you need to go look and get a job. <laughs> you want to just go back and get a job, right? If you're excited about this, but you still don't know what you don't know, well, then let's have a conversation. You just need to have a conversation. I'm not a pushy person in that first call. I don't want to work with you if you don't want to work with me. I also don't want to work with you if I can't help you. I will refer you to other people if I'm not the best fit. Trust me. I have clients. I have money coming in. I don't need to help every single person. I want to help people who want to move faster from where they are to where they want to be and scale your revenues to more of a consistent money-making business so that you're not working so hard. So if that's something of interest to you, watch my videos, find me on social media, but most of all, come to that free call with me. I promise you, you're going to get some good ideas just from that call, whether you decide to work with me or not. It's okay. I am, I am, I do what I say. I say what I am. I'm not, this is who I am behind the scenes, in front of the scenes. This is who I am. And I want you to be successful. I want you to build a really profitable business doing what you love and not killing yourself in the process. So if you're interested in that, <clears throat> go to askcat.biz. That's the page for the free call. Otherwise, subscribe to the channel here. 
go to my website, get some free stuff, go to jumpstartyourbiznow.com forward slash free trainings. There's six or eight trainings there that you can go get access to right now immediately to help you with your speaking, publishing, jumpstarting your business, your website, uh, your goals, all kinds of stuff. So jumpstartyourbiznow.com forward slash free trainings or speed up the process and come and have a call with me. I only do like 10 or so calls a month. So you need to make sure you can get in, but just go sign up at askcat.biz, B-I-Z. So that's, there you go. There's 462 things that you need to do to jumpstart your business and make a lot of money doing what you love. I mentioned at least 40 of them in this video. So good luck to you. And I hope I talk to you soon.